name is Tal, a sales application engineer at Munters. In this video, we'll discuss the new generation RF unit, R-Link 1, what the improvements are and how to set up the wireless network. When Rodem decided to upgrade the R-Link communication unit, we decided that simplifying the installation would be our primary goal. In addition to that goal, we also wanted to improve the signal stability and reduce signal mixing. To that, we built a unit whose configuration consists of setting a few switches and that's it. Here is a quick summary of what you need to do when you install your R-Link 1. Remember, review the manual. There are critical recommendations on how to best locate your RF units. The goal is maximum transmission distances along with minimal danger from lightning. So first set up a unit in the office. This is the base unit and it's connected to your communicator or MUX. Open the base unit. The IN2 and RFB switches should be kept in their default position. Then we need to select a channel. A channel is the address available to the radio modem. It doesn't matter which channel you use, just make sure that every R-Link 1 in the network has the same channel. Also keep in mind, if the farm next to yours has an R-Link, you need to use a different channel. Select the baud rate. The default is 9600 bits per second. It should be the same rate as the communicator's baud rate. Then we need to select the mode. Since this is the base unit, set the switches like so. The LED will turn blue. Next, set up the power level. This is another function used to prevent signal mixing, so make sure that the level is different than your neighbors. You can take about 5 kilometers as a safe distance from a neighboring farm. A couple of more switches and we're done. On the communication card, set the base unit switches like this. Last step for the base unit, press the config button. When you set up the remote units, the ones that connected to the controllers, set the switches exactly like the switches in the base unit, except for two. The mode. Set these switches like so. In the communication card, set the switches like this. Again, press the config button. That's it, almost. What I didn't explain was how you know where to place your remote units. Here is where R-Link 1 has the biggest improvement. Instead of having to install the units, connect them to the controllers and communicator and then test the signal strength, you can generate a test signal before connecting the R-Link 1s to anything. What do you do? Set the base unit as I explained. Nothing here changes. Press the config button for 5 seconds. This starts at generating a test signal. Take the remote unit to the test location. Set the dip switches just as above, with one exception. Set the mode switch to loop back. At least two RSSI LEDs should be lit up for at least one minute. If they don't lit up, reposition the remote unit and try again. Once you find the right spot, set the mode to remote. Wire it to the controllers and you're done. Thank you for watching and we hope you tune in for more videos.